AP Calculus section 7.2, page 3, we are going to find the area enclosed by y cubed equals 4x, x equals 0, and y equals negative 2. Again, sketch a graph. All right, this is the first time that this has happened where we don't have a function as y equals. So we are going to have to take the cube root of both sides, and y will be the cube root of 4x. Cube root of 4x uh, is a variation on the cube root of x, and the cube root of x looks something like that. And all this 4 is going to do is to do a horizontal compression, which scooches it closer together. But since we're not putting a scale on here, that 4 doesn't matter when we sketch this graph. Okay, x equals 0. That is the y-axis. There's x equals 0. And then we also want y equals negative 2, roughly here. There's y equals negative 2. So the region that is enclosed by these three pieces is this section down here. And when we go to find that area, we are going to have to integrate top function minus bottom function. All right, for that blue region, which function's on the top? Well, that's this cube root one. So we're going to have to do this cube root of 4x, there's your top function, minus the bottom function, that's the y equals negative 2 dx. And then bounds here start to stop. So points of intersection. We need to find this point of intersection right here. That point of intersection, isn't that where this cube root function of cube root of 4x equals a y value of negative 2. Yep, let's just solve that equation. Cube both sides, that gives us 4x is negative 8, so x is negative 2. This point of intersection right here then, x is negative 2, y is negative 2. That point of intersection, 0, 0. So our bounds, x values here, Negative 2, 2, 0. You can go ahead and evaluate this on your calculator with F and I and T. And you should come up with 1. That area is 1. Okay, next. Now, this is where your calculator is going to come into play. I am just making sure that my calculator is set in radians and a window. Okay, so find the area enclosed by y equals sine 2x and y equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. So go ahead and get those in your calculator. I have a standard viewing window here. I may need to adjust that. We'll see. Sign 2x and x squared minus 4x plus 1. Oh, that's pretty tiny. I'm going to enlarge this a bit. So I'm going to change my window to be negative 5 to 5 across the board. Thank you. 
There we go. That's the graph. So let's go ahead and sketch this onto paper because you're going to have to identify some pieces of information on paper. So graph doesn't have to be perfect, but try and make it reasonably close. So I see this one crossing right here, and it's going to bottom out right around that point there, and it crosses up there. Something like that. The region contained between those two is this. Now, the last couple of problems, it's been very easy to tell where the graphs intersect. This one, they're not as nice. You're going to have to figure out those points of intersection. So let's just start this, set this up. This area is going to be, now uh, maybe I should write area so we don't get that confused with something else. All right, uh, top function is this blue one, which was the sine function. So sine 2x minus bottom function, which is this parabola. Make sure you put that in parentheses. x squared minus 4x plus 1 dx. Okay, now points of intersection. We need to find them. And you are going to use your calculator to find those points of intersection. So let's find this first one over here. So going through that second calc menu, intersect. And I'm finding that first point of intersection is point 1727. So that's point 1727, comma, point 3387 up here. Yes? Oops, a little glary. Try again. There we go. All right, now what I want you to do is to go to a home screen. So second, quit, and just hit X, and then enter. That is your X coordinate. Your calculator momentarily stored that X coordinate in the memory bank called X. We want to put it into a different memory bank. We want to put it into a memory bank called A. So to do that, you're going to take this value and just go to store, which is STO right down here, right by the one. Store, you're going to store that as memory bank A. So go alpha A, enter. That number now is stored in A. So go back to your paper and just identify that this X coordinate right here is A. Let's go back to your graph, find the other point of intersection, second calc, intersect, first curve, yes, second curve, yes, guess. You have to arrow over there, or if you know what number it's close to, I could have just typed a four, but you do have to get that guess over here, close to that second point of intersection. That point of intersection then is... 3.9975 comma 0 0.9900. At this point, go back to your home screen. So second quit, pull up X again, 
And you should see now your calculators change that X value that it had stored before and previously, and it has now changed it from 3.9975 because that's the new X that it just calculated. I need you to put that into a memory bank called B. So to do that, let's just go back down here to store, S-T-O, and we're going to store that into memory bank B, so alpha B, and that is now in B. So the bounds then on this integral would be from this 0.1727 up to this 3.9975. And to avoid the possibility of round off error, you just put A to B. And as long as you have identified on paper what your A and B stand for, this is perfectly acceptable. To evaluate this integral then on your calculator, we're going to use a whole bunch of variables in it to set this up. So um, let's do FNINT4 from A. So you can just pull up your memory bank A, alpha A, up here to memory bank B, so alpha B. And then we want sine 2x minus x squared minus 4x plus 1. Well, where is sine 2x typed? That was in y1. So I can just put y1 in here. So that's alpha f4 y1 minus this parabola, which is in y2, alpha f4 y2 d. And there we go. This answer, this final answer, is 7.3246. Lots of calculator stuff on there. If I went too quickly, please rewind the video, pause it, make sure you can do these procedures on your calculator. Thank you very much. See you on page four.